Rise, my apprentice. In the original timeline, Anakin Skywalker's secret marriage to Padme Amidala was a direct violation of the Jedi Code, which forbade attachments and romantic relationships. Anakin's need to hide this relationship, coupled with his fear of losing Padme, became key factors in his eventual fall to the dark side. But what if things had gone differently? What if the Jedi Order had accepted Anakin's marriage instead of rejecting it? In this alternate timeline, the Jedi Council learns of Anakin's marriage to Padme much earlier. During the Clone Wars, instead of condemning Anakin for breaking the code, the council takes a different approach. Realizing that Anakin's attachments are too strong to simply sever, they decide to revisit the rigid rules on attachment, seeing that forcing Anakin to hide such a relationship could be more damaging than acknowledging it. Obi-Wan Kenobi, who had long suspected the relationship, is a key figure in persuading the council to reconsider their stance. He argues that Anakin's love for Padme doesn't have to be a weakness, instead it can be a source of strength if managed with wisdom. With great caution, the Jedi Order agrees to let Anakin remain a Jedi Knight and stay married to Padme, provided he remains committed to the Jedi's mission. With the Jedi's acceptance of his marriage, Anakin Skywalker no longer has to hide his relationship. A great burden is lifted from his shoulders, and he feels a newfound sense of freedom. The fear that constantly plagued him, the fear of losing Padme, and the fear of being discovered by the Council is greatly reduced. Anakin's internal conflict, which was so pivotal in his eventual downfall, is less intense in this timeline. Without the need to keep secrets from the Jedi, Anakin Anakin is more open with Obi-Wan and his fellow Jedi. He seeks counsel from Master Yoda and other mentors, who, though wary of Anakin's attachment, offer guidance on how to navigate the complexities of love and duty. Anakin's relationship with Padme is stronger than ever. Instead of being torn between his love for her and his loyalty to the Jedi, he believes he can have both. His connection to the light side of the Force deepens, as he feels a greater sense of balance and harmony in his life. In this timeline, Chancellor Palpatine still seeks to manipulate Anakin. He sees the young Jedi's power and potential and wants him as his apprentice. However, without the same level of fear and secrecy weighing on Anakin, Palpatine's influence is weaker. Palpatine begins planting seeds of doubt, as he did in the original timeline, but Anakin is less susceptible to his manipulations. Anakin no longer fears losing Padme as much as before because he trusts that the Jedi Order will stand by him. Moreover, his ability to discuss his fears openly with Obi-Wan and other Jedi gives him a safety net that wasn't there before. Anakin's sense of isolation is diminished. When Palpatine suggests that the Jedi are too rigid and that Anakin deserves more freedom, Anakin is more confident in his place within the Order. He no longer fears feels the same resentment toward the Jedi that Palpatine tried to stoke. While he remains close to the Chancellor, Anakin does not feel compelled to seek more power or control through darker means. As the Clone Wars rage on, Anakin's bond with the Jedi Council deepens. Obi-Wan remains his closest friend and mentor, guiding him through the emotional challenges of both the war and his marriage. Master Yoda and Mace Windu express their concerns about the risks of attachment, but instead of alienating Anakin, they provide wisdom on how to find balance. Through ongoing conversations, Conversations, Yoda teaches Anakin the value of non-attachment, not by suppressing his emotions, but by helping him understand that love and fear can coexist without overwhelming him. Anakin learns to let go of his possessiveness and fear of loss, finding peace in the present moment. The Jedi Council's decision to allow Anakin's marriage proves to be a pivotal moment, as it fosters trust between Anakin and the Order. Anakin's newfound emotional clarity strengthens his connection to the light side, and he becomes more dedicated to the Jedi cause, leading him to play a crucial role in key battles of the Clone Wars. As the Clone Wars continue to drag on, Chancellor Palpatine grows increasingly frustrated. He had always seen Anakin Skywalker as his ideal apprentice, but with the Jedi Council's acceptance of Anakin's marriage to Padme, his influence over the young Jedi has been weakened. Anakin, no longer plagued by fear and secrecy, has become more grounded and confident in his connection to the Jedi Order. Palpatine, recognizing that he cannot turn Anakin to the dark side as easily as he once thought, begins to rethink his plans. Instead of orchestrating the Battle of Coruscant as a means to push Anakin further into conflict, Palpatine opts to prolong the war, hoping to bide his time and create new opportunities to manipulate the Jedi and the Republic. He decides not to risk exposing Count Dooku or himself by engaging in a high-profile battle over Coruscant, fearing that Dooku's capture or defeat could unravel his plans too early. Instead, the Siege of Mandalore becomes the focus of this chapter in the Clone Wars. Anakin and his former apprentice, Ahsoka Tano, are sent to assist Bo-Katan Kryze in reclaiming Mandalore from the remnants of Darth Maul's Shadow Collective. 
While Obi-Wan Kenobi remains focused on other key battlefronts, Anakin and Ahsoka lead the assault on Mandalore. During the siege, Maul, a former Sith apprentice who knows the identity of Darth Sidious, becomes a key target for capture. Though he attempts to escape, Anakin and Ahsoka manage to corner him in the Mandalorian capital city. A fierce battle ensues, but Maul is eventually defeated and captured by the combined efforts of Anakin and Ahsoka. As Maul is in prison, he reveals crucial information that could lead the Jedi to discover Sidious's true identity as Chancellor Palpatine. As Maul's capture brings the Jedi closer to unraveling the mystery of the Sith Lord manipulating the war, Palpatine grows increasingly desperate. He realizes that the window to fully execute his plan is closing. Anakin has slipped further from his grasp, and with Maul in custody, the Jedi are dangerously close to uncovering his true identity. Seeing no other option, Palpatine enacts Order 66, hoping to wipe out the Jedi before they can move against him. While the Jedi are spread across the galaxy leading clone battalions, the clone turn on their Jedi commanders and begin executing them. However, the success of Order 66 is diminished without Anakin's fall to the dark side. Without Darth Vader leading the charge to the Jedi Temple, the devastation is not as complete as in the original timeline. Nevertheless, the Jedi suffer heavy losses as many are killed by their own soldiers. As Order 66 is carried out, Anakin and Ahsoka are aboard a Venator-class Star Destroyer with their clone troops, returning from Mandalore with Maul in custody. However, when the order is given, their clones, led by Captain Rex, turn on them. Thanks to their deep bond with Rex, Anakin and Ahsoka manage to break through his mental conditioning and convince him to resist the programming of the inhibitor chip. The three of them, along with Maul, fight their way through the ship as the clones attempt to kill them. In the ensuing chaos, Maul escapes, but Anakin, Ahsoka, and Rex manage to commandeer a shuttle and escape the Venator before it crashes. Now fully aware that the Republic has fallen and the Jedi are being hunted, Anakin and Ahsoka set their sights on Coruscant to confront Palpatine and save what remains of the Jedi Order. Upon reaching Coruscant, Anakin and Ahsoka learn that Master Yoda is already moving to confront Palpatine. The truth about Palpatine's identity as Darth Sidious has been fully revealed and Yoda intends to face him in a final confrontation. Anakin and Ahsoka rush to aid him, determined to end the Sith's reign once and for all. As Yoda enters Palpatine's private chambers, he is met by the full power of the dark side. A titanic battle erupts between the ancient Jedi Master and the Emperor, with the fate of the galaxy hanging in the balance. However, However, this time, Yoda is not alone. As Yoda begins to tire against the overwhelming power of Sidious, Anakin, and Ahsoka arrive in the heat of the battle. Together, the three Jedi engage Palpatine in a final, climactic duel. Palpatine, knowing that his plans are falling apart, fights with all the fury of the dark side, but he is outnumbered. Anakin, empowered by the strength of his connection to the light side and his love for Padme, fights with a clarity he has never known before. With the combined strength of Yoda, Anakin, and Ahsoka, Palpatine is finally overwhelmed. In one final strike, Anakin delivers the fatal blow, cutting down Darth Sidious and ending his reign of terror. With Palpatine's death, the Sith's grand plan to control the galaxy through the Clone Wars and the Empire is shattered. With Palpatine's death, the Republic is thrown into chaos, but there is still hope for the future. Though many Jedi have fallen during Order 66, Anakin's loyalty to the Jedi, combined with the support of Ahsoka and Yoda, has saved the Order from total destruction. Obi-Wan Kenobi, who survived his own encounter with Order 66, joins Anakin, Ahsoka, and Yoda as they work to rally the remaining Jedi and rebuild the Order. Anakin's journey has taken a different path than the one Palpatine had envisioned. Instead of being consumed by fear and anger, Anakin's acceptance of love and his role as both a Jedi and a husband has allowed him to embrace the light side fully. Padme, who survived the war, remains by his side, and together they prepare for the birth of their children, Luke and Leia. The Galactic Senate, free from Palpatine's manipulation, moves to restore the Republic. Though the scars of the Clone Wars run deep, Bail Organa and Padme Amidala play key roles in reforming the government and ensuring that the corruption of Palpatine's regime is rooted out. In the aftermath of Palpatine's death, the Jedi Order begins the difficult process of rebuilding. Anakin Skywalker, once feared to be the Chosen One who would bring about the Jedi's destruction, instead becomes the beacon of hope for their survival. Alongside Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka, Anakin helps to reform the Jedi Council, ensuring that the mistakes of the past, such as the rigid stance on attachments, are not repeated. Luke and Leia Skywalker, born into a galaxy that narrowly avoided total darkness, grow up surrounded by the teachings of the Jedi. Under the careful guidance of their father, Anakin, and their mother, Padme, they represent the future of both the Jedi and the Republic. The Jedi Order, though diminished, rises once again, this time with a new understanding of the balance between duty and emotion.
Anakin's journey serves as a lesson for all Jedi, that fear and secrecy are the true paths to darkness, and that embracing the light side means embracing the full spectrum of human experience, including love. With Darth Sidious and the Sith defeated, peace begins to return to the galaxy. The Clone Wars are over, and the galaxy begins the long process of healing. Anakin, no longer torn between conflicting loyalties, embraces his role as both a father and a Jedi, knowing that the dark side no longer holds any power over him. The legacy of the Skywalker family begins not with a fall to darkness, but with a triumph of light. Luke and Leia, raised in peace and guided by the wisdom of the Jedi, are destined to carry the Skywalker name into a new era of hope for the galaxy.